Hello there, Mark Struthers from Musical Notes. Today saw the release of Isotopes Ozone 6 from version 6 up to 6.1. So what I'll do is I'll have a look at some of the new features that you are going to find as soon as you do update to this 6.1 free version. If you already own Ozone 6, whether it's the advanced version, which is what I'm running here, or the standard version, you can update to 6.1 simply by going to Isotopes website and going to your download section. So let's have a look at some of the new features. I'm going to open up this Dynamics module because there is now an adaptive release mode in the Dynamics module that responds in a similar way to IRC in the Maximizer module. And in fact, if I open up the Maximizer module, you'll remember that we've got these three IRC settings here. Now I'm going to get back to this Maximizer module in a moment. I'll just flick back over to Dynamics. Now you'll find that when adaptive release is set to on in the Dynamics module, it will automatically adjust the release time of the compressor stroke limiter and is based on the peak factor of a signal. Now in principle, you'll find that if a transient signal is detected, as a consequence, the release time is scaled to be shorter to facilitate less pumping of the signal. And antithetically, the detection of a sustained note means the release time is scaled to be longer, resulting in lower distortion of the signal. In practice, you'll notice the release time gets scaled in relation to the user set release value. For example, the compressor's release level here, if I move this up, perhaps to 161, 161 milliseconds, well, if a transient signal is detected, as I say, the release time is scaled to be shorter so that less pumping occurs. And by contrast, if we get a sustained note, this means that the release time will be scaled to be longer so that we don't get a distorted signal. Now I'll just come back over to our second module, the maximizer one. I'll select it. Because here you'll notice that another new feature for Ozone 6.1 is the inclusion of this tube mode. Now if you know the hardware version, and admittedly I don't, but if you do, you'll appreciate that this tube mode is loosely modelled on the Fairchild 670, and this is a feedback based compressor limiter with a soft knee. Now it's only loosely based on the Fairchild 670 because the attack and release envelopes are slightly different due to its feedback topology. Now, in use, you'll notice an IRC limiter follows the tube processing to transparently prevent clipping. Additionally, the character slider over here controls the attack and release time of the tube mode, similar to its behavior in the IRC modes. And in fact, with that tooltip there, when you roll over it, you'll see that it includes an analog model feedback limiter with brick wall precision. And simply to reiterate, the character slider here controls the attack and release time of the tube mode. As I say, just like the behavior of our three IRC modes. Okay, so what else is new? Well, there are some changes to the custom default settings in that there is now an added feature that allows user customization of the default settings of the Ozone plugins and the standalone application. And to be able to do this, i.e. to set the default values, I'll open up our preset manager. Consequently from here, if you would like to set a specific preset that you always use first in your mastering chain as the default, well first of all open up the preset, I'll just choose one of these at random. I'll go inside this light folder and I'll choose the fourth one down, classic mid-range. So if you do want to set this specific preset as your master, simply right click on it and you'll see this pop up. The top option, set classic mid-range, and it's only saying classic mid-range because that's the one that we've got selected. We get to set this classic mid-range preset as our default, simply by selecting it there. I'll close down the preset manager. Now additionally, if you'd like to save your current settings as the default, then you can do that as well. I'll just make some changes to what we've got here. Possibly with the maximizer, I'll adjust our threshold. And then with the equalizer, well, I'll just drag one of these nodes down. Now imagine I liked it like this, and I wanted to use this as my default preset. And in fact, whilst we're here, I'll open up the exciter, and I'll increase here. I'll take our mix amount up to just shy of 38%. Therefore now, opening up the preset manager once more, if I right click somewhere in a blank area, up here for example, you'll see my top option. I can set this, what I've just done, the current state, 
I can set this current state as the default. Now if you subsequently want to revert back to the isotope defaults, you can reset to the factory default settings at any time by right clicking once more and running down to the second option, reset default to factory default. Now do note though that the standalone and the plugins differ in that each of the plugins and the standalone app have separate custom default settings. Therefore setting the default state in the main Ozone plugin will not transfer those settings across to the Ozone application. I'll just close down the preset manager once more. Finally, let's look at a fourth new option. Well, another new feature is the option of selecting segments to set loop points. I'm just going to bring in a file. This hasn't changed. Simply select there and then navigate to the particular file that you are working on. I'm going to choose any of these at random. Now it just so happens that this is an MP3. Ordinarily, I wouldn't dream of using an MP3. This is just for an example. So with it open, once the file has been imported, remember the segments running underneath. We can set these loop points if we want to, because here in the main Ozone application, functionality is now added to allow the clicking on the segments in the segmentation view, which is that color bar just underneath, underneath our waveform display there. This means that when you hover over a section and then subsequently click on it, that segment of audio will automatically be selected. As you can see, I can set up any loop points wherever I like. Okay then, so I'll leave it here now that we've seen some of the new features that have been brought in to today's release of Ozone 6 up to Ozone 6.1. Right, I'll leave you to download it now and update your version of Ozone. See you later.